Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. As a Fire Stick or Fire TV user, you will know that the Amazon App Store doesn't have every app that the Google Play Store does and that can be frustrating for some people. But if you have an Android phone or tablet, there is a way that you can send apps from your phone or tablet directly to your Fire Stick simply and easily. If you want to find out how, then let's go and take a look. The Fire Stick and all other Fire TV devices run on a fork or modified version of Android, which means that you can install almost any Android app onto it. Now I do say almost because there are a few caveats to be aware of. Fire TV devices aren't fully compatible with all Android apps. Many apps and games are designed to be used on a touchscreen device and not with a remote control. Also, Fire TV does not support Google Play services, which some Android applications require to function correctly. And lastly, some older Fire TV devices, such as the first and second generation Fire Stick, are based on an old version of Android, so they may not be able to run Android apps that require a newer version of Android. With these few provisos, there isn't a foolproof way to check if the app will work on your Fire TV, and you won't know until you try. The best way of sending any application from your phone or tablet to your Fire Stick is by using an app called Apps to Fire. To use Apps to Fire, the first thing you need to do is enable ADB debugging and allow installations from unknown sources on your Fire TV. This will allow Apps to Fire to connect and install applications for you. On your home screen, tap across to the cog icon to open the settings. Tap down and then click on My Fire TV, then choose Developer Options. Now here we want to make sure that both of these settings say On, so click on each one in turn to turn these settings on. Next, you need to know the IP address of your Fire TV so that we can connect to it from your phone or tablet. Click back once on your remote and then tap up and click on About. Then click on Network. Make a note of your IP address, which is showing in this area highlighted on screen. Also be aware that if you are connected to a VPN, your phone won't be able to connect to your Fire TV, so make sure that you don't have an active VPN connection. We also want to make sure that your phone or tablet is connected to the same network as your Fire TV for this to work. Next, pick up your phone or tablet and open the Google Play Store. Search for Apps to Fire and install it. Open the Apps to Fire app and swipe across the blue menu at the top and tap on Setup. Enter the IP address of your Fire TV, then tap on Search Fire TVs. If you have several Fire TV devices in your home, make sure you're connecting to the correct device that you want to send apps to by tapping on the Fire TV device that shows the same IP address that you made a note of previously. At this point, you may get an error that the attempt to connect to your Fire TV has failed. If this is the case for you, take a look on your Fire TV and you should see that this message has popped up to allow USB debugging. Click Always Allow from this computer and click OK. Now back on your phone or tablet, tap OK on this error message, then tap on Got It on the next box that pops up. Then try to connect to your Fire TV again by tapping on it. Now you should see that you are successfully connected. Now you can send any app that you have installed on your Android using the Apps to Fire app. Tap on Local Apps and this will show you all of the apps that you have installed on your phone or tablet. Pick the app that you want to send to your Fire TV and tap on it to start installing it. Now this can take a while depending on which Fire TV you have and how fast your Wi-Fi is. 
When the app has finished installing, you'll get a notification on your Fire TV that the app has installed. Now go ahead and open it up. Hopefully the app is compatible and will work for you. But I will say again, in case you skipped the beginning part of this video, this will not work for every app. I hope that you find the Apps to Fire app handy to use. Let me know in the comments below which great apps you have found to transfer to your Fire TV. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.